Hey, what is up, everybody? Welcome back to Late Night Frights. My name is Jeremy, and this week we are doing our horror battles. But before I get into that, I want to talk about last week's theme, which I thought was very interesting and a very good theme, and that is the Backwoods Horror theme. So, uh, kind of going down, you know, the line of uh, what videos was made, the Jay Sloan reviewed uh, Wolf Creek, Chris Brock reviewed House of a Thousand Corpses, uh, I reviewed Motel Hell, Vanessa reviewed Tourist Trap, <clears throat> The Horror Ninja reviewed <clears throat> Wrong Turn 2, and our newest pre member Pierce reviewed The Texas Chainsaw Massacre. So if you have not seen any of those, definitely go check them out. Uh, really good week overall, you know, <clears throat> just uh, missing, you know, one person from the group right now, and that is Andre. Little Rocker Cutie, but Andre, if you are watching this video, man, can't wait to have you back on the channel. And with all that said, let's go to the horror battle. So, uh, this week I will be battling Sleepy Hollow from 1999 versus The Hollow from 2004. And the reason that I wanted to do this is because. I'm a huge fan of the Headless Horseman. I was a nut back when I was a kid. Um, the Headless Horseman fascinated me. I wanted to watch all the movies. And these are two that I have <clears throat> in my collection. Uh, yeah. <laughs> but let's, uh, let's start the horror battle. But, of course, before I can do that, I want to review both these movies, so let's get it started. Okay, guys, so Sleepy Hollow was made back in 1999. The director is Tim Burton, and it stars Johnny Depp and Christina Ricci. And the general plot for Sleepy Hollow is, after the horseman's head has been stolen, he returns from hell to take the heads of the people of Sleepy Hollow until his own is returned to him. Yep, that is the plot of the movie. Now moving on to The Hollow. The Hollow was made back in 2004. The director is Kyle Newman and stars Kevin Zegers, Kaylee Kuko, and Nick Carter. That's right, the Backstreet Boy. Back. All, right. All right, and so the, pl the plot for The Hollow is that not long after a family moves to Sleepy Hollow, uh, the Headless Horseman returns on Hollow's Eve to claim some more heads. There's a, there's a more decent story to this, but it'd give away a heck of a lot. So, I'm giving you that. If you want to know more about it, uh, watch it. It's a, uh, it's a movie. So, without any further ado, let's get to the horror battles. And let's start off the battles with, of course, my usual round one, and that is story. Which one of these films had the better story? That is Sleepy Hollow. Uh... Even though I can see, both of these films are cheesy. Sleepy Hollow has that unnecessary comedy added to it, and The Hollow's just, it used the term zombie fromby. What was the other one? I forget. But, um, one of the chapters was called Head. And uh, I won't go too in detail for the younger viewers, but um, this guy was, you know, kissing on his girl, and uh, she pushed his head downwards. Uh, so he went, okay. And uh, she got some head, which means uh, he lost his, and she was holding it. So that was a very cheesy scene right there. And a very cheesy title for that chapter. But I don't feel bad giving away that kill because, honestly, you guys really don't need to watch this movie unless you really want to. But, with that said, 
Let's move on to round two, and that is effects. Okay, effects. My bad. Um, which one of these films had the better effects? Sleepy Hollow. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Don't know really what else to say besides that because, um, I think the Hollow only had one decent kill, maybe two. But uh, I really like the church scene in Sleepy Hollow. Uh, that was always one of my favorite parts of the movie as a child, and it still kind of is today. Just even though he couldn't step on the, you know, on you know the church grounds, he can still get to you. But uh, moving on to round three, that is acting. Um, the film that I thought had the better acting in it would definitely have to be Sleepy Hollow. You get, you know, Johnny Depp, who plays in a lot of Tim Burton films, if you think about it. Uh, Christina Ritchie. This, you know, <clears throat> not, that, not that bad of a cast. You know, you know a, a more well-known cast, in my opinion, even though uh, Kaylee Kuko uh, <clears throat> plays on The Big Bang Theory. Which is a pretty funny show. Uh, I just think that uh, I don't know. I don't know if they was paid enough to be good actors because the guy's talking about, you know, the drunk Irish pirate. He was locked in a car and he's going, "Help! Help me! Oh, help! Get me out of here! Help!" He looked like that the entire time. How I'm looking, you know, in this camera with that kind of same expression. He wasn't, you know, like. Help! Get me out of here! Someone help! You... No, nothing. Nothing like that. It's just, help! Get me out of here! Oh, help! Please, someone! Yeah. Great acting. Uh, round three is gore. Uh, which film had the most gore to it? I'd also have to go with Sleepy Hollow. Uh, <laughs> Mm. The effects and the gore in the hollow just wasn't there that much. Um, the pumpkin head for the hollow, as you could see when I was talking about it earlier, I had the you know I had the picture up there. Um, it has like this weird CG fire thing, like where it lights up the eyes and the mouth and it just looks very terrible. And it's... Uh, I don't like this movie that much. Even the intense scenes didn't seem that intense, even though you knew they were supposed to be. Just, um... There's like this one scene, you know, you know, uh, help me with this or I'll beat you up. Okay, okay, calm down. I'll help you. Seriously? He just threatened to beat you up, and you're just like, okay, I'll help, you know, whatever. Cool. Whatever. <laughs> Moving on to, uh, Sleepy Hollow with the gore. Um, like I said, I think the scene that had the most gore to it was actually the church scene. There was blood flying everywhere in that one. Not as much as the evil dead, but... Well, nothing compared to the Evil Dead. That was a lot of blood, but still. Uh, it had a decent amount. I will say this. And I think I've spent enough time on round four, so let's go to round five. And that is kills. Which one had the higher body count? And I'm pretty sure that that is going to also be Sleepy Hollow. So... The Hollow has been annihilated. It's like Arnold Schwarzenegger and the Expendables have just all came down from the sky with machine guns and bazookas and just demolished that movie. Nothing remains except for a little bit of the plastic off the case, okay? Yeah. So, which one of these films would have won your battle? And if you like the video, please like it. You know, uh, give us a comment down below uh, 
and also just uh, check out uh, the other videos like I said from the uh, Backwoods Horror theme and also the horror battles that are coming out this week and uh, stay tuned for a video from Vanessa82 Horror, the Horror Ninja and our newest pre-member Pierce and once again guys this is Jeremy telling you to be careful cause you never know what might be lurking in the shadows